I got involved by, with the Community Foundation as a result of a call from former Governor Pete Tapon. It was his father's vision to create the Delaware Community Foundation, so he invited me to lunch at a restaurant in Dover, explained to me the concept, and I was excited from the beginning of the possibilities that this might lead uh, not only many of my clients to, but also the entire state in creating a true endowment that's going to benefit in perpetuity many, many organizations and individuals throughout the state. I think my dad would be very proud of it. I mean, I think when he started it, it was a very small thing, uh, but it got bigger and bigger, and uh, now I think it's one of the most successful charitable organizations we have. But I think his real goal was to build uh, the community foundation big enough so it could help uh, a large number of, of, of organizations that were out helping people. It's not just about getting people to open donor advised funds or, or nonprofits to put their investments in there, but it's a, about being involved in the community and having a real knowledge of so many things going on in the community and trying to be a part or, or helpful in so many different campaigns, so many different organizations from, from arts to the pets to the environment to social services. Uh, it's, it's just every day I get up in the morning and I, and I say, man, let's get going. There's almost a field of interest fund for any particular cause that you might have as a potential donor. But that's the beauty of the foundation. It is so flexible in allowing people to give to those causes that they want to support. $200 million in 25 years probably puts the Delaware Community Foundation in the top 10 in the country in terms of growth and success. It clearly has been a model that many other states are now using and they're scratching their heads trying to figure out how in the world did the Community Foundation do that in such a short period of time.